There are 12 beautiful, smart, and talented girls in the room right now, and by the end of the night, one of them will be crowned the Queen of Queens. Organized by Seventeen Magazine, the Queen of Queens Beauty Pageant brings together the 12 most beautiful girls from SMU, NTU, NUS, and SIM to compete for one crown. This year's girls, this year's batch, were really, really good, and I think they really are the best batch that we've had so far. Also, they really bonded, which I think was um, quite unusual compared to last year. The girls this year, I found, were very sexy, very confident, you know. Mm. Yeah, I was amazed at their confidence and, you know, their talent as well. I was, like, totally blown away by how, like, entertaining they were, yeah. But this year, the cream of the crop needed more than just beauty and brains to impress the judges. For the first time, this pageant requires the girls to showcase a talent. You know, I also wanted to show everyone that our contestants are more than just pretty faces. It's not just like a beauty pageant, it's a personality mm. slash talent competition. And we wanted to yeah. show how well-rounded the girls are. So who will be crowned this year's Queen Bee? Well, stay tuned to meet all 12 Varsity Beauties. <laughs> Now who says that beautiful girls don't get along? In this clip, we meet two of the 12 beauties. Lee Chia and Anna say that they are the bestest of best friends. Okay, and now I heard that you girls are both best friends. Yeah. So I'm going to get you to introduce each other, okay? Okay, this is Anna. Um, she's 19 years old and she's studying in SIM right now. This is Lee Chia, she's 20 and she's in SMU. Now where did, how do you guys meet? Um, um, new people, new yeah. place in 2007. So yeah. modeling brought two friends together. <laughs> yeah. Um, actually, it's half half. It's studies and so because we were both having A levels yeah. in the same year, so we got together and like, like confided in each other. Yeah. Because yeah. Because our schedule is pretty packed. Yeah. And we needed to study at the same time. Now, girls, what is your um, tactic to winning tonight? Um, no tactic. Yeah. Just like be ourselves and try to be as confident as possible. Yeah. yeah. Now, tell me something about uh, Anna that most people won't know. That only a best friend could know. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't know if people know, but she's crazy over makeup. Like, really, really very crazy over makeup. And she really spends a lot of money on makeup, yeah. How much money on makeup? Um, I don't have a budget. I just, if I like it, I'll buy it. <laughs> that is quite scary, no budget. Okay, now, Anna, your turn. Tell us something about Litya. Um, let's see. She has a bunny. It's called Honey Buns. <laughs> okay, now I bet you guys do have lots of secrets. Uh, do you talk to each other about boys? Yeah, of yeah, course. Of course. Okay, now yeah. who's attached and who's single? She's single. Yeah, she's attached. <laughs> so I bet you guys have lots of boys after you. Can you tell us some experiences? Um, <laughs> it's all bad experiences. <laughs> really? so. you, you have a boyfriend now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This is a good experience. Yeah. <laughs> what are bad experiences? Um, I guess it's incompatibility in the first place, yeah. I think that has to be the biggest problem ever. But these are the things that you learn as you go along the way, yeah. Like, you meet a few incompatible people and then when you finally meet the right one, you feel so happy and thank God for it. And meanwhile, while you're still single, you still have your best friend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, how about yourself? How do you meet your Prince Charming out of all the other bad experiences? Um, actually, I met him. He was... Because I went first run out for my... School's pageant and he was first one up as well. Ah, yeah, so and then. A male, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in a way. Yeah. He's an actor as well, ah, part time. Okay. Yeah. So, two good looking people together. I bet lots of people are vying for both your attention. Uh, how do you deal with the attention? You know, the girls that the girls giving him attention, the guys giving you attention. He's just, he's really friendly by nature, so if girls approach him, he would just like smile and say hi and. I know that he has no ill intent, so I trust him. And as for me, I don't really speak to like, other guys when I'm attached. Yeah, I'm really faithful. <laughs> what would be the best approach for guys to approach you? Um, I think you just have to come across as sincere, but not overly stocky and uh, weird. Yeah, just come across as sincere, happy and... I think you need to have a good conversation, that's very important. Yeah. I think you can tell whether the person has substance or not, whether you're compatible with the person. Yeah. yeah. Don't be fooled by her cuteness. In our next clip, Anna shows us that she's tougher than she looks. 